Yo, what's good, brother? This is Marcus Blake speaking, and I'm here to talk about how you should never chase happiness or it will kill you. You will die. Now, of course, I'm kidding. But what I mean by this is that when you go out of your way to try and get happier, you end up slipping out of your routine. You end up eating that junk food, watching that movie, playing a couple hours of video games, getting social media, going on your phone, sitting on your bed and scrolling for a couple of hours. And when you're scrolling on that phone, you end up at the end of the day realizing and looking back at that and noticing you just wasted three hours on fucking TikTok again for the fifth day in a row. But you ended up like that chasing happiness because of course the fucking instant gratification, hyper stimulating, over edited YouTube videos and TikTok edits will make you happy. But is that's not that's not what you want. You know, the end goal is happiness. Of course, it's not wrong to be happy. But when you chase happiness, you're not even chasing happy. Because at the end of the day, when you slip up and you fuck around the entire time, you feel disappointed. You feel regretful. It, you, it's like that post-nut clarity you get after jacking off. You feel like a loser chasing happiness. Chase pride. Be proud of yourself. Wake up every day and ask yourself, how or what can I do today to be more proud of me? When you chase that feeling of pride, you go out of your way to get in the gym and hit that workout. You upload a couple YouTube videos. You work on your side hustle. You clean your room. You do your homework. You hit your studies. You do the fucking work, man. You get out there and instead of chasing happiness like you would if you get on your phone you know look for dopamine on your phone because be honest side note here if you're being a completely honest the only thing that you do on your phone is literally just chase dopamine it's instagram it's tiktok it's youtube it's pornhub be proud of yourself chase that feeling you get at the end of the day when you have spent zero hours on social media and video games and you have ate zero grams of junk food. And then you've spent the day in the gym. Feel that emotion, man. Chase that emotion. Become addicted to being fulfilled and being proud of yourself. Delay gratification. You can't. You can't rely on being happy. You will fucking suffer, bro. Either way, you will suffer. Because you could go on your phone all day, eat the junk food and play the video games and go on Pornhub and jack off three times and you will suffer. Or you could go to the gym, clean the room, study no matter how you feel, read those books and you will suffer. They're both suffering. You can't not suffer. It's inevitable. Which suffering do you choose? You know what I mean? Which suffering do you choose? Do you choose the suffering at the end of the day or do you choose the suffering at the beginning of the day in your workout session? Because there's going to be pain involved either direction. And when I say chase being proud, that doesn't mean you can't be happy. Or that doesn't mean that happiness won't come from hitting that fucking workout because it will. Being proud in turn turns into being happy. It's just in the moment you will suffer. But then after the occasion, after the peak of pain has faded away, you're only left with fulfillment. And that's the reason why people love taking cold showers. In the moment, it's painful. It's so cold, your body literally stings when that shit hits you. And you're hyperventilating. You're like <gasps> trying to get your body up to its normal temperature. And it's painful. But then after you turn the water off and you go in your room and it's warm and you put the towel on, you're better off. 
you're happier, you're fulfilled. So what what do you choose? Do you want to wake up and find happiness and go out of your way and do whatever it takes to be more happy? Because the junk food's going to make you happy, boy. But it's not going to fucking sustain itself, man. It's going to make you suffer. So would you rather wake up and... How can I be more happy? Or would you rather wake up and be... How can I be more proud of myself? Choosing happy can be dangerous. Because you'll do anything it takes. You'll jack off three times that day, man. You'll go on TikTok for fucking five hours straight, man. You know, Andrew Tate once said, and I was watching his podcast with Aiden Ross when they did a live stream a couple days ago. It's pretty funny. I only watch it for like entertaining purposes. I'm not going to lie. Andrew Tate once said that if he were to show me or if he were to show himself a list of emotions, anger, sad, anxious, happy, prideful, no one would choose sad, right? A lot of people, most people would choose happy. But happy can do the same amount of damage as sad because you're going to go into instant gratifications. Choose pride. This was Marcus Blake. And I'll catch y'all boys later.